Hello YouTube, it is KG and welcome to another video. Today I'm doing a vlog. I've tried to vlog before. I've filmed parts of many vlogs. I think maybe one of them have actually gone up. I'm just not good at vlogging, but today we're going to try because it is my first day of school as a transfer student. So it's kind of like my first day of school. Like, I'm at a new school, I don't know nobody, I don't know what's going on, and I'm completely unprepared, so today I have to get myself together and be ready to start school, so I'm going to get ready here in a minute, and then I'm going to <clears throat> see my friend for, um, they have a lunch break for work, so I'm going to go see, and then I'm going to get some stuff I need for school. And because, like I said, I'm unprepared, uh, and then I'm gonna drive to school, and then I'm gonna go to school, and then I'm gonna drive home and report to you guys about how the day went, I guess? That's the plan? I'm not gonna vlogging. I hope this vlog is successful and actually goes up on the channel, but I'm about to get ready for the day, and as y'all can see through the glorious sunlight that, oh, that is cascading in through the window, my hair is cute, but my edges are not. They need help. They need Jesus Christ to save them. And I've tried laying them, but the issue with laying my edges is that some parts that are out are just way too long to lay. Like, look at this. That is without any gel. Like, with the gel, it comes down, like, past my eyebrow. Like, what do I look like laying that? Like, it's just going to have a big old swoop on my forehead and I'm going to just look silly. So today we're going to try something a little tiny bit different to get my hair to lay and act correct. So let's get out of bed and try that. My throat was feeling scratchy this morning. I've already woken up. I had breakfast. I had a vitamin C tablet to kind of, you know, I'm not trying to get sick. Like that is not a look. So if I can prevent it, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to take some medicine before I go to class if I need it at that point. But... I don't know. Right now my nose is a little weird and my throat is scratchy, but I don't know. We're gonna see if this goes away. But anyways, let's move on to my hair. I feel like it might be important to explain this to y'all, but I am a transfer student. So like I said, I'm a transfer student. It's my first day at this new school. But because I'm a transfer student, I couldn't really get the schedule that I wanted because, you know, uh, resident students, basically, I guess I should say, kind of get first pick on everything, so I was really, like, one of the last people to pick my schedule, even the freshmen got to pick before me, so I am stuck now with all night classes, so I, I go to school at night, and so that's why I have time today to get ready for school and go out and buy the things that I need, it's because I don't have class until 6.30. Um, I'm gonna leave the house, I think, at 4.30? I don't know, because there's 5 o'clock traffic, which I don't want to be in. Um, I'm a commuter, I commute an hour. So this hair needs to get done. Just so that y'all have a frame of reference and what I'm trying to do. This side of my hair is done. And this side is not. Over here looking crusty. Over here looking laid and cute. Okay? Okay. So I'm going to do these. I just broke off eight of Hector's leaves. Look at him. Look at the poor soul. Eight of his leaves. Like, I didn't even, I was just like, it was like I touched him and they just all like just started snapping off. Like, I just wanted to water him and I destroyed his life. And I'm a terrible succulent mother and I'm sorry, Hector. I already killed Priscilla. Alright, so I'm all ready. I still have um, my bed on. Just allowing these edges a good couple more minutes to sit. I'm supposed to meet a friend for lunch. And my goal today is uh, to not cry. <laughs> Done. So I can't be messing that up. So I need to just not. I need to just not. We're going to see how that goes because my life tends to not like me. And 
I tend to get sad when I don't need to be sad, so I don't know if I'm going to make it. But I'm, like, rushing out the house right now. I'm not late, but they're early. So now I need to adjust my whole schedule. We're supposed to meet at 1. It's uh, 12.45. And they're like, I'm ready. And I'm like, I beg your pardon. And so I'm trying to get my schedule. I mean, I kind of didn't cry. I didn't, like, sob. My makeup is still intact. So I guess I can put it as a big three. I'm about to head to the dollar store, Walmart. Potentially Barnes and Nobles to get some stuff, but I have my book bag in the back. And I'm ready to head to school, so I just need to get my stuff for agenda. Walmart. I'm still very nauseous the past hour, so I got this. It's drama, drama line. Um, it's a uh, nausea medication, but they really only have the kids version. I'm gonna try it anyway because I don't have an adult version and I'm nauseous and I need help. And I mean, I could always try ginger ale, but I'm just gonna try medication for once because I usually do just drink a bunch of ginger ale all day when I get nauseous. But I mean, apparently, I was thinking that this year I might just do daily to do lists instead of agenda. I don't know how I feel about this, but they have all these journals. Uh, there are just lines, like, I'll show you one. So I'll try to show you one. They're, they're just lined. You feel me? So I could do daily to-do lists in these, but I don't know if I want to do that or if I just want to stick with agendas like I've been having since I was in elementary school. This, I like the strap. I don't like that it says Johnson's. It makes me think of Johnson & Johnson, like the... Diaper. Everything's called an agenda anymore. Everything is called a planner. I literally only found three planners. This one, which is really ugly and just does not like give me any kind of life. So no. This one, which is a binder, which is honestly just way too big. Like it's cute, but what do I look like carrying around a binder? Like that's a dick. and this one, which I really like. I like the like gold tips, and I like that it has a ribbon to keep track of your place, and I like that it has calendar view. And then a daily view with no lines. I like the that I can do kind of whatever I want to in the daily views. But the gag with this is there's no lines, so I'm going to be messy. And then the calendar view is the same issue I have with agendas, where I would just never flip back to the calendar. Because, like, if the calendar's here, and I'm on August, like, 19th, you know, I'm not going to have both these pages marked. So I have to do effort to get back to the calendar, and I just kind of never did it. Um, and I feel like with college life, I need the calendar more than I need the just, like, dailies. It is so hot today. Stepping outside is actually torture. Like, I have evening classes, so I literally dress kind of a little warmish so that when the sun sets, I'll be good. But I'm out all day now. The sun is up. It's just, this is trying I, of course, already got a planner, but I'm, like, obsessed with them. I can't help but oh my gosh, I can't help but look at the ones in Barb's Noble, even though I already have one. They're so cute, but I need to dig more expensive, so I want to get one at Walmart. Save myself some coins, but these are like legit. So cute. Look at this one. I love the font, I love the color. This is 2019. Look at this. Look at this. The pages are rose gold. These are so cute. I'm going to be obsessed with these for a minute. While I look at planners that I'm not gonna buy, this is excuse me, please. So well, I was looking for resources in learning languages, um, specifically French, which I don't even see here. This is French. They have Rosetta Stone, which I already know is out of my price point. Um, my old school had Rosetta Stone resources, but I transferred, and my new school doesn't give us Rosetta Stone access. So now I have to look for my own things. So. Um, I, I, I don't really know what I'm looking for. I'll come back to you when I find something that seems like I should purchase it. So I've decided to start a bit cheaper and go with this audio CD praise. Uh, raspberry mint tea. I think you're gonna get water. So, I'm about to head to school about 10 minutes until it's time for me to go based off the schedule I made for myself. So... I was just sitting in Dunkin' Donuts, just kind of brooding. Like, I was literally sitting in my chair, staring out the window, brooding and upset because 
I was just thinking about a lot of the stuff I've been thinking about a lot lately. And it's just about loss. I've lost a lot of people lately through death, distance, decisions. And I was just thinking about that. I guess I'm not very good at handling it. Like, I was thinking about my grandma who passed away. And just, like, she used to make really good hamburgers. A lot of her cooking was good, but... I just remember the, the, the hamburgers in particular. And now I'm in a place where I'll never be able to have them again. Because she's died. And that's really a strange... Th I'm not un unpackaging my French thing. That's really a strange thing to think about. And a bummer that that person is gone. And it, like, I didn't really process it at the time, but it's kind of just like they're there, and then they're not. And, like, they're still there. Like, at the funeral, you could still see that. And their casket and everything, like, they still exist, but you can't do anything with them. You can't have what you had with them anymore. And, um, like, when I was going to see my friend and I said my goal was to not cry, that's because of distance that I'm, it was, like, my last time seeing them before they went back to school far away. And, I mean, we could still talk, but we can't see each other. It's not the same. And I was thinking about decisions, a friend that I lost because she and I got into a fight, not a physical one, but, like, an argument. And mostly she, but sort of we decided we shouldn't be friends anymore. And I was just thinking about, like, we've been friends for a very long time, she and I in particular. And I was just thinking about the fact that I, we had a lot of plans. Like, like we were kind of a couple. Not, like, like, that's just the way that this really, this is what the relationship reminds me of, of a romantic couple. But we had all these plans for our future, and I think of now, like, who's going to be the best, not the best man, oh my gosh, who's going to be the maid of honor at her wedding? It's not me anymore, so I don't know, and, like, she's just going to go on and live her life, and I'm not going to be there. And it's already been, like, a month, month and a half, so... Give it a little more time, and she and I will be no more than strangers to each other. And I'm going to live without her. She's going to live without me. We're just going to do our own things. Maybe replace each other. Find new best friends. And maybe after I've been friends with someone else for seven years, I'll be trying to figure out what to do with them. For I've been through a lot this far. I missed my exit on the highway, I missed the bus, I couldn't find the bus stop, I'm very lost right now, but I'm in nature, and this is lovely, this is one thing I like about this campus, that my old campus didn't have, classes are over, I'm at the bus stop, my phone is about to die, so I don't even know how long I can talk to you, but, not happy, um, We'll start at the beginning. I got nauseous at around 2 p.m. <clears throat> um, my throat is hurting and I'm very clearly sick. So of course I get sick or like my sickness starts to show on the first day of school. So I feel terrible already. Then I, I left early to have an extra 30 minutes to find my classes because I knew I was going to be lost. I left early. Not even an extra 30 minutes. I think I had... No, I had an extra 30 minutes. Yeah. So I left early. And that extra 30 minutes was spent driving in frustrating traffic because I missed my exit on the highway. And there was a 16 minute slowdown between my exit and the next exit. And then from the next exit, I was on like a two lane highway kind of road. And there was a slowdown on that. 
and then it started to get into rush hour time, and everybody was out, and it was a lot. So I ended up getting here at 6.20. My class started at 6.30, but I needed to change campuses. We have two campuses, and I needed to leave one or go to another, which is about a 20-minute bus ride, and like a, a however long wait for the bus. So, so I knew I was not going to get to class last time. Um, as I was searching for the bus stop, a bus passed me, like going to the, the other campus, so I missed the bus. I ended up finding a bus stop, and I had to wait for the bus. The bus came, the bus took me here, then I had to find my class. It turns out the bus stop I chose to get off at was the one that was like all the way across campus from where my class building was. So I had to walk all the way across campus, figure my way around. I ended up finding the building, ended up finding my class. I walked in 45 minutes late. Um, they, we were doing explicit courses, so at least I knew what was going on, and I just kind of jumped in and started doing them. But it was really late, and this allowed the syllabus. I don't think I'm going to like my teacher, my professor, because he's very... I think he's introverted. He's just very quiet and doesn't have much energy. And then there's a girl in my class who I know from high school, which one of the reasons I like my old school is because no one from my high school went there and I just really don't want to start seeing a bunch of people from my high school. <sighs> I was about to say, I don't even know why she's an art major, but she was literally in my AP art classes with me. Like, I should have known. Um, I'm hungry, but I can't get any food because in order to buy food, you have to have like basically monopoly money for the school and in order to get the monopoly money you have to use a card transfer now the issue is there's two different accounts that I try to transfer one called um, monopoly money and one called dining dollars and I don't know which one I need and then my nails it doesn't work with the machine like you have to put your card in and pull it out I can't pull my card out because I'm holding my nails to catch on my card I can't get my the pads with my fingers in there so I can't buy food and so I get on a bus which again I missed as I was trying to find the bus stops so it is two weeks later wow uh no it's a little under two weeks later it's a while later and I'm filming a conclusion for that video because I never did uh, because I was sick as I said and I just didn't want to talk all week I just don't feel like talking and a lot has happened since the uh, last thing that I filmed so I guess I should explain first <clears throat> I did eventually I want to put the camera on something because it's shaking a lot so I did eventually uh, get on the bus it took I think 30 40 minutes for the bus to come so I was waiting a good long time for that bus but I did eventually get on it and it eventually got me back to um, campus and I eventually found the parking deck and got in my car and then I went to Arby's because I was hungry and I got an Arby's sandwich and then I started to break down um, not in tears though there were tears I just mean like mentally I was a disaster and I decided that I didn't want to go home like I really decided I was just gonna sleep in my car at Arby's and just stay there because I didn't want to go home I didn't want to have to drive for another two hours an hour and 30 minutes is my limit as I've learned two hours of driving drives me insane um, and I was not gonna do that again it just it wasn't happening and just sitting in my car thinking about having to go through that again not only two hours of driving but two hours of driving in traffic mm -mm. I was not leaving I was not going home I was not doing it like I was just gonna stay in the Arby's parking lot I would have been just fine and then I also got scared because I've never driven on the highway at night and I was like what if I mess up and I turn into a wall I will explode and die like going 60 70 80 miles per hour <coughs> <coughs> going 60, 70, 80 miles per hour, I will for sure crash at those speeds. So I just didn't want to drive. I felt like I was going to die, and I felt like it was going to be a disaster, and I was going to be mad, and I just didn't want to go home. I felt like I would never get home. Like, two hours seems like an eternity to me, and I felt like I would never make it home. So I told myself I was just going to sleep in my car, and just, I was just going to live in my car, like, really? <laughs> 
I lost it. Um, and it ended up being my friend that I was texting who was like, listen, sis, you need to go home. <laughs> and then my mom texted me and was like, are you coming home? It was like 11.30 at this point. <laughs> so uh, I told her I got lost. And I did get lost, but not like that lost that it took me till 11.30 to find my car. I told her I got lost and so I would come home. But it ended up. Um, only taking me an hour, like 52 minutes to get home because there was no traffic. It was 11.30 at night. So I cruised home and it was great. The drive felt great because I got to my house. Like I didn't think it was possible, but I made it into my house. And the next day, uh, I went to class again and had similar problems. And I realized that it was because 4 o'clock traffic. So for Wednesday, I left for school at 2 p.m. And I got, no, I left for school at 1. I got there at 2. And I ended up just staying, doing homework. I don't even know if I had homework. I was just kind of there until my classes started at 6.30. So, like, really, truly, no. It was, it was the biggest waste of my time, actually, that ever happened. Thursday, I woke up. I was still sick. And just thinking about having to go to school at 1 to get there at 2 when my classes weren't until 5 or 6.30, I just couldn't find the will in my soul to do that so on Thursday I was like no I'm not going to class it's just not happening especially because I have my science class on Thursday and that class was stressing me out and it hadn't even started like I wrote down everything I needed to do in my planner not my planner in my to-do list I wrote my to-do list and looking at it just stressed me out specifically looking at the science stuff I was just like I can't there this is not it's so Thursday I was like I can't go to class I can't do this four days a week like I can't be doing this I just cannot and so I decided to change my schedule which ended up stressing me out a lot because I had to drop a class I'm not only enrolled in four classes which is the most irritating thing in the world I had to do six classes next semester to catch back up because I am graduating on time don't think that I'm not <laughs> no sis uh we're not doing this for any semester is longer than we need to, but I'm only in four classes right now. But on the upside, I only have class Monday and Wednesday. Today is Thursday, again, so I don't have class today. And doing this whole Monday Wednesday thing was way better. For starters, my first class is at 11. Well, there's no traffic at 10, so it takes me like an hour and 15 minutes to get to school instead of two hours through traffic or having to go there extra early and do nothing. Plus, it's in the morning, so I honestly feel better about that. Like, I can get coffee. Or I can just like wake up and feel fresh and feel like I'm about to go somewhere and do something. So it feels much more productive having classes in the morning. My next class isn't until 5, but uh, I take a class online. So I use that gap to do my online work. So I'm not just sitting there wasting my time looking around and feeling stupid. Then I go to class at 5 and then I go to that same art class at 6.30 to 9.30 and then I leave late at night still. I might start going to the gym after class, but I don't know. That's kind of too late. Like, I might want to go to the gym in my gap time. I don't know. But the gym is going to work itself into my schedule somewhere. I feel much better about my schedule now that it's only two days a week. And that I have morning class that, you know, gets me up and makes me feel like I'm doing something in my day. I feel much better about my schedule now. And that whole panic attack, I'm going to live in my car, hasn't happened again. So I guess we're headed in a good direction. But really, my first week of school was a travesty, a tragedy. I needed serious mental help after that. But um, I made it through and I'm feeling okay. So I want to thank you guys for watching. I know this whole entire video was a downer and I did not cry during the video. But let me tell you something. Tears were shed that day, okay? It was tragic. So <laughs> you could tell in... Um, Namely, the last clip that was just here and the clip where I was talking about loss, you could tell I was sad and I was not having a good day. And that was just, just, just a small window into the disaster that that day was. Getting lost is my kryptonite. Like, I have a horrid sense of direction. I don't even think I have a sense of direction. So getting lost is the easiest thing for me to do. Like, literally, I could be driving somewhere that is two turns away from where I am. And I don't know how to get back to where I started. I'm trash. So for me, trying to go to a brand new school, having never mapped it out, thinking that 30 minutes was going to be enough time to find my class. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. And that bus, 
They told me the bus from one campus to another. It takes 20 minutes. So I was scheduled in 20 minutes. Well, who? nobody paused to tell me. Buses come every five minutes is what they said. Yes, buses come every five minutes. But each bus, like the bus that you need, comes every 20 minutes because there's four routes. So yeah, a bus will show up, but it won't be the bus that you're trying to take. So getting from campus to campus, honestly, I have to have an hour to do that and now it's fine because I don't have to get like my morning class and then my next class is at five so like from 12 to 5 at somewhere in there I need to move campuses but like that's plenty of time so now it's fine but back then it was unmanageable like literally yesterday Wednesday was the first day that I got to my classes on time I got to every class on time every other day I was struggling like uh my first day of school was a struggle, and I just didn't want this vlog to be a complete downer of me just, like, sobbing in my car, saying that I'm gonna live at Arby's, so I didn't, <laughs> I didn't fill that part of my day, and I'm happy that I can now come to you guys and tell you it got better, and I'm, you know, living okay now. I want to thank all of y'all for watching, even though it was tragic, uh, and I will see all of you guys next time, okay? Until then, make sure you click here to watch last week's video. I upload a video every single week, and my goal is to keep doing that until I get 100 subscribers, so scroll down, click that subscribe button, click the bell. I don't really know what the bell does. I don't click the bell for anything, but all the YouTubers are saying you have to click the bell, so just, just do me a favor and click the bell, I guess. <laughs> Ah, but most importantly, subscribe so I can stop uploading every week. No, I mean, I'll still upload, just, I don't know. Click the button, please. <clears throat> I've been watching a lot of, um, you need to be clicking this video, by the way. Like, what I'm saying right now is not relevant. But I've been watching a lot of Antonio Garza lately, and he, she, it, them is so funny, like, so funny, like, so funny. And I tried for, like, half a second there to mimic he, she, it, them's editing style because I just love it, and, like, that's kind of what I imagine my editing to look like in my head. But in reality, it turns out I can't do that. Yeah, so I know my editing is not funny, and I know I'm not funny, but just click the subscribe button anyways. Maybe it'll get better. I don't know. <laughs> I'll click this video, too, so you can watch what else I've been doing. And next week, I'm going to vlog my school week so that we can see that it's not all bad. Because I'm honestly doing much better, having much better weeks. So next week, I'm going to vlog my Monday, Wednesday, and show you guys that it can't get better. It's not a disaster. Commuting to school is not the end of your life. And honestly, I want to make a series of college videos because I just enjoy college as a topic. So yeah, I'm going to do that at some point. But right now, you know what you need to be doing right now? Do you know what you need to be doing right now? Do you know what you need to be doing right now? You need to be clicking this video. <laughs> okay, bye.